and Madness Society. It is your host with the most, Shadow Look, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. That's how you help my channel get into the algorithm. I would highly appreciate it. You know, you go ahead and do that. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about was something that um, I was discussing with one of my subscribers, right? And, um, you know, he was uh, talking about, you know, other YouTubers and how he's tired of people complaining and whining and, you know, about their problems on their channel, right? And that he doesn't understand why people come and put their personal life on here, right? Um, the, the thing is that in general, us as humans, we need someone in our lives you know, someone that we could, you know, talk to and, um, you know, whether we're seeking to get some kind of, you know, support or advice, wisdom, you know, um, you know, just to understand ourselves better. See, um, what people don't understand is that you as an individual, it's so easy for you to see the flaws in others, right, and, and, and help them out, right, uh, when they can't see the answers. Um, but yet you can't help yourself in your own personal problems, right? Because you can't see, you can't see them, right? Other people can see them, but you yourself, um, you know, obviously because they're your problems, you just can't see them, right? Um, and it helps talking. Sometimes people just need to hear these and have these conversations and it, and it helps them. Like I said, we're emotional creatures, you know, we need, we need companionship, you know, for our survival, um, those who say that, no, you don't, and those, they like to be alone, no, they don't, you know what I mean? Uh, that's the reason why people commit uh, crimes, commit suicide, um, you know, commit mass shootings and everything like that, right? It's because they felt like they had nobody, and now they're going to make everybody feel the same pain that they have felt, right? Why should they care about others when nobody ever cared about them, right? Um, you know, et cetera, right? Uh, why people join organizations, and you know why a lot of bad bad activities happen, right? And that's the reason why when somebody doesn't have somebody in their life, they're more aggressive, they're more petty, they like to, you know, uh, you know, humiliate others, you know, they're they're like sadists, right? Uh, you know, sadists is, you know, someone that likes, you know, causing or inflicting pain on in, into others. Other people's misery brings them uh, satisfaction, right? That's what a sadist is, right? Um, and that's the thing, online, it's not the best place to do it, right? I, I was tell I would tell people to, you know, go get therapy. Therapy, you know, does help a lot, right? Because when you do it online, right here on the internet, right? It, it, this is the, the domain for, you know, anybody that has um, a personality disorder, right? The sympathy, right? Um, you know, there's so many different, you know, personalities on here, you know, whether people are narcissists, you know, sadists, you know, you know, sociopaths, psychopaths, you know, and many others that are out there, right? Um, so I would say that this is not the best place to do it because you have a lot of people on here who just like to see other people's misery and who, who thrive in it, right? Um, one thing I always tell individuals is that don't expect others to be like you, right? Just because you might be righteous or you might help somebody out or just because you show this person um, loyalty or love doesn't automatically mean that you're going to receive it back, right? Um, or just because you're this way doesn't mean that other people are not, are the same as you, right? Um, you know, even though you, you know, you go out of your way to help an individual and you show them nothing but, but love and everything like that, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to receive it back, right? Because People are just different in this world, right? There's so many different personalities in this planet, right? And um, nine times out of 10, you know, people, you know, do share, you know, one of those personality, you know, traits, right? Um, I'm not saying that, you know, like everybody's evil or or, um, or this world is going to shit, um, but that there's a lot of, there's a lot of scandalous people out there, right? who are just looking for an opportunity, you know, to present itself for them to exploit it. Um, and, you know, you, by you coming on here and, you know, throwing your business out there, that gives them the perfect ammunition that they need, right? And uh, if you're if you're going through some, some tough times, right, and if you're not really, if you're not really thick-skinned it, right, um, 
if you're bothered easy, then then then, <laughs> then they're gonna eat you alive on here, bro. You know what I mean? Um, because the more angrier you get and the more you lash out, the more gratification, satisfaction that these individuals are getting, right? Uh, so you know they're not gonna they're not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, and your mental state is only gonna you know start to you know get worse. And you know, unfortunately, that's what why a lot of people you know because of bullying you know commit suicide and or or you know just go into depression or or you know have a psychotic, you know, break, you know, um, it's sad, but it's true. And these individuals are not gonna, even though their words potentially could have been, you know, what set it off in motion, they're not going to feel no type of, uh, remorse or, you know, or fault for it, you know, to them, it was just like next. And that's the true reality of the internet. Right. Um, you know, one of the, you know, sayings is that, um, if you grab, if you grab people right with different person personalities and you put them all in one room, it's gonna equal disaster. Um, because it's true, right? Kind of like when they say uh, a narcissist, another a narcissist can't stand another narcissist. Uh, you know, because you know a narcissist is obviously somebody who's looking for for uh, praise of others. You know, uh, of status of high status you know, to others, right, but, 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 but not being earned, right, um, so pretty much they want people to think, you know, that they're the best at this and this and this without actually, you know, doing these activities or, 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 or having these traits, right, they just kind of demand this, you know, by people, so they, you know, manipulate it, you know, to trick individuals for the, them to think of them like that, right, that's what a narcissist is or does, um, you see a lot of that on here on YouTube, um, because, you know, this is a perfect environment for them to try to thrive on, right, um, to them, right? But in all reality, it isn't because you could go back and, and re-watch the videos and, you know, catch people's lies and stuff like that. But see, their egos won't allow them to see their errors. Kind of, you know, when I went back and I said that um, we can't see our own, you know, faults as well, right, uh, as humans. Um, it, it's a trip like that, right? And it's one of the things that, that you know, why it interests me, right, Um the human brain uh, personalities and, you know, um, overall human behavior um, is fascinating. Uh, just seeing how, why people are the way that they are, you know, um, you know, what made them this way or, or, um, you know, why are people this way or why they do what they do because nobody does nothing for absolutely no reason. There's a source to everything, right? Um, so individuals on here, putting all their, you know, business out there, their family issues and everything like that. Yes, you know, although you could see it as like, well, who's who would try to poke fun of or who could actually come and actually really uh, hate on somebody because of this or, or insult somebody because of this or exploit this? Uh, you'll be surprised, bro. Like I said, this world, you have a lot of people who suffer from, you know, um, one of these, you know, personality disorders, right? And they don't know that they have this disorder, right? And a lot of people in the world do have or suffer from these types of disorder, but they don't know that they have the disorder because they never go get themselves, you know, checked out, right? Um, or they refuse to, you know, believe, you know? Um, but yes, they'll be one of these categories, right? Um, and they love to be on the internet, bro. Um, so by you doing this, there's a, always an individual that's humming around your channel who's looking for you to put out something for them now to exploit it, right? And even though people could be like, oh, well, it's just one individual, uh, what they don't understand about the internet is one individual will create multiple accounts, right? So it feels like you're being assaulted by different people and everything like that. And if you're not really, you know, keen into uh, catching these type of behaviors, right? Uh, because although you can change your, your email address or whatever, people can't change their overall um personality right so you know you know key things to look out for is like you know keywords or um you know patterns that overlaps right between accounts in order for you to uh you know being able to see that it's the same individuals um right it's a game that i find interesting right here on youtube right when i'm just you know watching videos and, and glancing through the comments right and i'm able to catch you know certain things but people think that that nobody will notice it's it, it already shows their overall, you know, 
ego. Um, so yeah, if, if, you know, but it's it's a good form of therapy in a way because you're talking about your problems, right? Um, but it also in a negative light because people in the comments are not therapists, so they don't, you know, they don't know how to, you know, you know, help somebody out, right? Um, nine times out of ten, they'll they'll tend to just ah oh, stop bitching about it and get over it, and and like I said, that that's that's not helping somebody, you know. Um, by insulting them or by, you know, degrading them even more, insulting them even more, make, making them doubt themselves even more. Um, you know, you're not helping the problem, you know, by people coming and being like, oh, oh, nah, you, sometimes you got to be real with people. Sometimes you just got to tell it. <laughs> of course, you're going to see it that way, right? That says a lot about your character, right, and how you view the world. Uh, but overall, you know, when we're talking about, you know, actually helping somebody statistics show that that makes situations worse bro so i mean you could argue with the you could argue with the knowledge but um but you're gonna tell me you know more than these you know psychologists and therapists and you know but overall in general just be careful what, what you put out there on the internet uh, because, you know, you do have a lot of different personalities that roam around the Internet and, and that are just looking to exploit, you know, and, and take advantage of individuals, humiliate. Or, to them, it's just all a game, bro. Um, you know, but those are just, you know, maybe, you know, some advice, you know, to help individuals, you know, out. Um, overall, if you need someone to talk to, I recommend therapy. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not seen as weird or lame or nothing like that. Um you know, if you're trying to better yourself, bro, people can only tip their hats off, you know, for that. I'm saying shadow, Leah. Yeah.